guys. So sorry about this horrible angle. This is the only angle I can do for this video because I'm going to be doing a, um, like a full face of like makeup, but then I'm using some products that I've never used before because, um, I got some new products for uh, my birthday and I decided I don't want to show you guys them and use them. So I'm going to do like an impression on them, on like my products, but all the other products I'm just going to do my face. I just feel like doing that because I didn't get like everything, like I didn't get like foundation and I didn't get all the products and it would look weird if I just put some of the products on with not everything. So yeah, so I'm just going to get started with this. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be using is some face primer if I can find it if it's, because it's just good to use a face primer because moisturizes your face and yeah it's just really really a good thing to be using so everyone if you don't know this you guys should be if you're like new to using makeup and stuff you guys definitely should be using a make uh, um face primer it doesn't matter what brand you have mine are my all my products are um drugstore because I don't spend a lot of money on my makeup so this one is the elf yes there we go the elf um hydrating face primer so yeah you guys can get this at any of your drugstores I usually do put my hair up, but right now I'm not going to. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Or just dab it on every spot that I need. And if I need more, I'll just grab a little bit more. Just rub it in with the hand. And to be honest with you guys, you don't need a lot of this because it really it goes a long way. And it's just a face primer to moisturize your face. Like, it doesn't really like. So, now that I'm finished with that, the next thing I'm going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is this, my e.l.f. Um, if it will focus again. It's not really focusing, but it's my e.l.f. Um, foundation. And if you guys can tell, I do like e.l.f. a lot. I have a lot of e.l.f. things. E.l.f. is a really, really cheap makeup brand. Like, I don't mean, like, cheap, but, like, bad cheap. I mean, like, cheap, like, um, it's, like, cheap money. And, um, yeah. So, I would really recommend if you guys are looking for a good, um, drugstore makeup brand that's cheap and works really good, get, um, e.l.f. There's a lot of other good brands too that are pretty cheap, but this is like one of the best. That is like the cheapest that I've found. So yeah, and it's at like every drugstore you can find. It's at like um, Walgreens, Kroger, and Target, and Walmart, and London Drugs, and Trapper Drug Mart, Superstore, like all those stores. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it all over my face like this. Okay, guys. So then once I've put it all over my face, however I want. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. Well, it's not really a beauty blender, it's more like a sponge. But as you guys can see, it's very already dirty. And I didn't have any more. So they just kept this one, and I didn't want to really want to clean it because I don't know if I can get it cleaned. So yeah, I just take this side though, not the little side. That's my dabbing side. This side I just take and I rub it in. I mean, I know you're supposed to like dab, but I dab not my foundation, my concealer though. Okay guys, so the next product I'm going to be using is this, but this is what I always use. So it's not a new product, this is just one that I have. So it's Revlon Youth FX Fleur Plus Blur Concealer. So I'm going to try to show you guys it. You guys might have seen this before. It under my eye like this. You guys can see like that. And on my other eye, some people do triangles, some people do dots. But I just like rub like a line. And then I do a little line here by my little nose. And then I do some lines underneath. Here like this, and then I just put it on all my little acne spots, like the really big ones, because they do have some little acne spots, but I just put it on the ones that like stand out. Okay, and then I will take my beauty blender again, or my sponge, whatever you want to call this, and I take this side and I dab it this time, like this. Okay, so then guys, once I'm finished with that, I will take this. And I'm going to do my contour. I sometimes do powder, but today I didn't feel like doing powder. And I sometimes do blush, but I don't feel like doing blush today either. So, I'm just going to be doing this. I'm taking my... I don't even know what brush this is. Eco Tools. Eco Tools. So that's what this brush is. You guys can see it's like a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to dip it in the contour. And then I'm going to make it like a little face so you guys know. Almost like a fishy face. Not exactly a fish face, but if you do the actual fish face, fish face, it never works. You have to do like... And then you start from up there and you just go. So, yeah, I'm just going to get a lot on. Because I like to have really um, contoured cheeks. But by the way, guys, I'm not very good at contouring. So, do not judge at all, guys. 
I've only started contouring not that long ago. I've never contoured that long. And guys, this isn't like a teaching video, but I'm just gonna let people know for people who are beginners, that you're not supposed to go all the way to your um lips. That doesn't look good. Mine usually just looks like a blob, not really a line, because I can't do it properly. But you know. Okay, I'm doing my other side. Okay, then I usually like to do my jawline and my forehead because you yeah, know why not i'm gonna take my highlighter my highlighter guys which is an elf one again because you know as i said i love elf it's so cheap so here it is it looks like this this is like my favorite highlighter guys it works so well you guys might think that this is an elf it's really cheap it's not gonna work out but it really does and I take this brush. It's another Eco Tools brush that my sister got me for Christmas. And I'm, it's a fan brush, by the way. Um, and I'm just going to take it and put it right up here. And it goes along the bone at the top. And people, some people don't like um, highlighter, but I love highlighter. Highlighter is one of my favorite. Just um, makes your face really sparkly and glow. And gives your makeup like a really sparkly glow look. And I like that look because it just gives it like, I don't know something to like spice it up i guess you could say my nose my or my little lips are and my cheekbones okay guys so next what i'm going to be using is this nyx micro brow pencil and yeah so here's what it looks like it comes with two sides there it's sort of focused um so this side's the um like the little pencil there and then the other side this side guys is the um brush okay there so i'm just gonna put it on my eyebrows so i just go like this and i just draw it in as you guys can see And my eyebrows are not good at all, as you can tell. I've plucked them a couple times. But that's the only thing I've ever done. I've never went in and got them done because I'm always too scared. My sister and everyone always says I should. Makes my eyebrows look way better. And I probably agree with them. I'm just way too scared. Like, I sort of want to just because I know they'll look better. But I'm just too scared. So I just plucked them some of myself. You know, I'm not very good at plucking them. But at least they look better than what they did before I even started plucking them. Because plucking them doesn't hurt as much. I don't know why. It's probably not. It's going to hurt. I'm just as much as plucking. But I don't know if I'm going to leave that. Okay. So now. I'm just going to take. I'm going to take my Coastal Scents 88 Color Eyeshadow Palette. Here. This one. And this is the one I've always used. So this is a new. I'm starting to get to my new stuff guys. After this. It'll be my new stuff. Because I only got like three new different products. So. Anyway. So here it is. Looks like this. It has so many colors. I'm not sure what color I'm going to use today. I think I'm going to do like an orangey look again. I'm going to do like a gold look, so I think I'm going to do like a goldy look today because I feel like it. And sometimes I like to put it underneath my eyes too, the color, because it makes it my eyes pop. So I'm going to take my two, actually my three different eyeshadow brushes. These I got from Claire's. So I have this one, this little brush. That's the one I usually use. Then I have this one that's usually for what I use for underneath my eyes. And then this one is using my blending one. So, I'm going to get started with this one. And I think I'm going to be using lighter brown right here. That one right there. You guys can see my hands off. Okay. So, I'm just going to take this one. And I'm going to put it in my crease. Okay, so I finished that, guys. Now, I'm going to take um, the darker brown down here. This one darker brown right down there and i'm gonna put it in the corner of my eye okay guys so i just finished that now i think i'm gonna be doing like a gold because i want to do like a gold look so i think i'm gonna be taking this color right here that one that nice little orangey one and then i'm gonna be taking the sparkly one and put it over top I'm using this brush though even though this is my blending one but i just like to use this one instead of this one because this one's really dirty 
and it's just easier to use a flatter one because it gets more product on it. Okay, so I actually decided not to do under. Now I'm just going to be taking my new product. Here it is. My first new product is that I got from my grandma. Well, my dad's side, my grandma, I will call her. And it was um, for my birthday. I got it. If you guys saw my birthday haul, you would have known. So here is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. It's going to tell you what it is. Whatever. I'm not going to get it to focus, but it says CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. So I'm going to try it and see if I like it. See if it works better than the other one that I have right now that I really am enjoying. The other one that I have right now, it works super well. So I'm going to see if this one works just as well or even better. So I'm going to actually show you guys me using it just so I can give you like a full on first impression of it. So, so far it opens up really, really well and it has a nice little wand. It's tinier than most of my wands that I have on my other ones. And I'm just going to try it. So let's get started. The, um, the bottle of it is really pretty though. It has like a blue on it and it's really nice. So let's try it. So guys, if I'm not looking directly at you, I'm looking at the mirror up above. So, yeah. But you guys can still hear me. So. It goes on really nicely and it feels very light. Like you can barely feel it on you. I don't know if it's just because it's my first time using it. But that's my first reaction to it. And my next reaction is, it's very, um... Not really clumpy at all, but I don't know because this is my first time using it. So I, I'm just saying for my first impressions. I don't know if like if you use it a lot, it will start wearing down and I'll be, it'll get more clumpy or it'll get more like hard. I don't know. Right now I'm really liking it. So yeah, I really really like this one. The only thing I don't like about it that much is it's not very volumized. Like it works really well and I love it, but from a far distance you can barely tell you're wearing any. You have to look like closely, so you have to do like a lot of layers. That's the only bad thing. But I do really like it. Okay, so I actually decided not to do under. So, now I'm just going to be taking my new product. Here it is. My first new product is um, this one right here that I got from my grandma. Well, my dad's side, my grandma, I'll call her. And it was um, for my birthday. I got it. If you guys saw my birthday haul, you would have known. So here is what it looks like. I don't know, let's see, it's gonna tell you what it is. It will focus. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not gonna get it to focus, but it says CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. So I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. See if it works better than the other one that I have right now that I'm really enjoying. The other one that I have right now, it works super well. So I'm gonna see if this one works just as well or even better. So I'm gonna actually show you guys me using it just so I can give you like a full on first impression of it. So. So far, it opens up really, really well, and it has a nice little wand. It's tinier than most of my wands that I have on my other ones. And I'm just going to try it. So let's get started. The, um, the bottle of it is really pretty, though. It has, like, a blue on it, and it's really nice. So let's try it. So, guys, if I'm not looking directly at you, I'm looking at the mirror up above. So, yeah. But you guys can still hear me. goes on really nicely and it feels very light. Like you can really feel it on you. I don't know if it's just because it's my first time using it. But that's my first reaction to it. And my next reaction is it's very, um, not really clumpy at all. But I don't know if this is my first time using it. So I, I'm just saying for my first impressions. I don't know if like if you use it a lot it will start wearing down and I'll be a It'll get more clumpy or it'll get more, like, hard. I don't know. Right now, I'm really liking it. So, yeah, I really, really like this one. The only thing I don't like about it that much is it's not very volumized. Like, it works really well, and I love it. But from a far distance, you can barely tell you're wearing any. You have to look, like, closely, so you have to do, like, a lot of layers. That's the only bad thing. But I do really like it. Okay, guys, so here is my ending look of this. If it's going to focus. Oh, there we go. So, they're pretty long. I don't know what you guys think. I think they're pretty long and I like them. My impression is it's really good. I like that mascara. So, yeah, pretty long. So, guys, I just realized this right now while I was doing it. Is I got some eyeliners, too, that I was going to use for my first impression. Because this is the other new stuff. But, I forgot to do it before. But I think I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to um, find all of them. Because I got three, I think. So here's the other two. I think I'm just going to use the black one, not my brown one. And I'm going to try to use my waterline. 
and I'm gonna try even though I have um mascara on so I'm not gonna do the top up top or part so yeah let's just try this I'm not gonna show you guys um but I will give you my impressions after like I'll give you my real impressions don't worry okay guys so I did it my waterline I sort of like it actually it looks sort of nice my waterline never just done mine just my waterline gives it a little bit more of a pop and I sort of like it anyway so this one I would say is better for your waterline I think than your actual eyelid I'm not sure no but it doesn't work the greatest though but I don't know if that was just because it was my waterline but um yeah it was hard to put on at first but then it started to work and it's more of like a crayon other than like a felt tip because I have a felt tip and this one twists so yeah I think I'm gonna be using this one for my waterline a lot and I might be doing my waterline a lot more now because it's really easy to do your waterline I always thought it was really hard and it was gonna be like um I had some water and it wouldn't work but it works actually really well and I really like it so um yeah this is called my physics formula one so I'll show you guys close up. I don't know if you guys can really... Oh, there you guys can sort of tell. See how it's darker underneath? Right there. Yeah. So, now the last product that I'm going to be using is a new one that I got. First impressions one. It's this. It's by Hard Candy. I just want to let you guys know, before I do this, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm not a big fan of lip glosses because they're always very, like, glossy. And they're very, like wet as you can say and i'm not a big fan of wet like stuff on your lips because like when they dry they're not wet because when it's wet it just feels weird so i'm not a big fan of glosses but i'm gonna try it and you got and i'll give you guys my first impressions but i probably won't enjoy it that much because i'm not like wet sometimes it takes a while for it to dry but it usually goes on wet and i just no so good and yes like liquid not a fan of that but it's going on pretty nice and this lip gloss has a very nice scent to it. And model lip glosses don't really have color and this one doesn't. But that's not really the point of lip gloss. Lip gloss is supposed to go like... And lip gloss is more sticky as you can tell too. So usually lip glosses are just like a um, sparkle. But sometimes they have like some tint to a color and this one sort of has a little tint. So I honestly don't hate it but i'm not a big fan because it's more just like gloss so it would be nice to put over top of your lipstick rather than just wear this but again like i said it makes your lips more sticky and wet feeling so i'm not a big fan of lip gloss but if you guys were to use a lip gloss or use this one or any lip gloss i'd prefer you guys put it over top of your lipstick um but yeah like i said not a big fan of lip gloss so i don't really enjoy this that much but it's still nice and it's just nice to have maybe once in a while I might put it over top of my lipstick but um yeah so that's my impression on this so those are, this is my full face guys I'll show you guys close up so if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did give it a big thumbs up comment down below you guys' favorite makeup product you guys own the brand and everything and um yeah or if you have like a favorite brand comment that down below too and um yeah so my favorite um, makeup product that I own right now is either my mascara that I have. My old mascara, not my new one because I like my old better. And um, my e.l.f. highlighter. My favorite makeup brand is probably either e.l.f. or Maybelline, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Crazy Squad. Bye, Jesters.